Some people think that this is the only place where you can see exquisite art, but at last that is not true. If you live in Beaumont, it's all around you. Hey, welcome to Beaumont Mural Fest Ride Along. Join me, Living Local 409, as I show you where all the best mural spots are. We got some talented artists, and I want to show off what they put on. This is Beaumont Mural Festival. Let's get it. Hey everybody, this is Living Local 409 coming at you with a new type of video. We're not doing food today. We are not looking at a restaurant or some type of food today. Living Local, of course, there's, they're blowing right when I'm recording, but you know, you work with what you got. <laughs> Living Local 409 is not just about food. It's about everything local, local businesses, local events, local attractions, local everything. So I don't know if y'all have been noticing, you, you, you're living under the rock if you haven't. In Beaumont, Texas, they did these two years in a row, they've been doing this thing called Mural Fest where they've been painting murals all around the city. I was, I didn't see any place where there's a video of evidence of all of them. I've seen photos, even on their website, the Beaumont, uh, uh, CVB uh, website has all of the murals and, and on Instagram and on Facebook, but I haven't seen videos of all of them. So I thought, let me put up upon myself to go out here and showcase you all of the murals that we have around here. Now, I may not get to every last one of them um, because there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot. This is gonna be a long video. Uh, there's a lot of murals out of there, a lot of amazing artists. I'm gonna talk about the ones that I actually find very awesome. I might not put too much of an opinion on ones that I think is out there. <laughs> but hey, all of the artwork is amazing. Uh, all of the artwork is inspirational. What they inspire with inside of you is all you. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. Let's go. Hey everybody, so I'm at the first mural. If you look behind me, it's very classic. It's Beaumont, but we are Cardinals because of the college that we have here, which is Lamar. I, my alma mater, my wife's alma mater. So I just wanted to show you this beautiful artwork here. As you, get, as you can see, the Beaumont is done in an amazing, amazing way. And the Cardinals, so much detail. We have some awesome artists. I'm always gonna put them below the picture so that you can get them some love when you see them. Go support them. These people did some amazing work here. So this is the first one. So this next one is actually on the other side of the building, this time on the Calder side. And it's Beaumont also, but done in another creative way. Um, the thing that's funny about this is I didn't know anything about this because I don't really listen to rock music. But someone told me that there's um, there's like Easter eggs in here, uh, one being from the Grateful Dead. If you see any more on here, let me know because like I said, I don't know anything about rock music. So... It's very done nicely, uh, very creative. You could tell that this was done by an exceptional artist. Let's move on. Next, we're just going down the street where we're gonna see another well done mural. All right, so we're at the second picture, and this is a postcard from Beaumont with love. <laughs> so as you can see, you got the, the guitar playing. I forgot who that actually is, so if you know who it is, put it in the comments below. But then, you got all of the scenery and the things that Beaumont is known for. Of course, we have McFadden, and then we have the scenery with the boardwalk. Of course, we got that alligator in the back, and we have that third largest fire hydrant <laughs> so anyway awesome picture wanted to show it off of course i'm put the artist below but this one i like now this next one is a double sided of a building again where it's this bird and make your mark uh mural uh bow my bird was done very vibrant colors uh it's hard to miss very nicely done um I really just love the style of this. It's a, li a little cartoony, just makes you feel good. Uh, that's what I feel when I see this one. 
Uh, so I, I very much love this uh, mural. The next mural is um, more of the abstract art. Um, make your mark. It breeds a message within you. Um, so really love the colors done on here. That light blue on the dark blue. Uh, the eyes are super funny. Now we move a little further down the street again. This time as we go see Beaumont Betty. It's supposed to be an old school look at how they used to have the uh, ladies looking in magazines and, and animation and uh, well done. The colors very vibrant again. I love the abstract and the clouds and the sunflower and even the spindle top in the background. Um, it's just very, very nicely done. The person put in a lot of work on this wall. Then we go down the street here and we're going to one of the uh, most hard to get a good shot of murals that there is. There's so much detail into this. It's like a boat ride in the Amazon with a whole bunch of different people. Uh, but you see the wires are covering it. It's so it was so hard to try to get a great shot of this thing. I just after a while just was like, well, none of them is working. <laughs> so I just decided to just go for what I know. And I uh, hope you can just see the beauty that it is. It is a very, very great done uh, painting uh, mural on there. Right Mind did his thing on there. Um, I love the colors and the way that he animated the people. Uh, you could just see the motion, even though it's a still image. You can just see all of the different motions going on. Um, the even with the lack of water being done the way that it's done you can just see it, it it's just an amazing action type of uh, footage that i really love this painting just think that it's in such of a horrible place aesthetically to to get photos or video of that's all but well done painting well done let's move on uh, now you'll see me get lost on my little thing because I was trying to find this thing everywhere It's such a secluded place this next one. Hey everybody. So we're at one of the most Interesting pieces. I should say the least <laughs> of course it's creative freedom expression all of that stuff But there's one thing you can't deny two things you can't deny one It's in a horrible spot <laughs> It's in the middle of nowhere I don't understand it. It's one of the most beautiful aesthetically murals I've seen in this whole area, but yet and still, it's in the most abandoned lot ever. I don't know who chose it, but but whoever chose it, man, you putting you putting it in a horrible spot. I mean, there's nowhere for people to come see it. But anyway, it's two, you cannot deny the beauty of it. Whoever, it, it, I'm telling you, video is not gonna do it justice. You would have to see it for yourself. And just looking at this thing, it looks like a photograph. It doesn't look like somebody painted this. It's crazy to think that this is a painting. It's crazy. Whoever did this is amazing with that brush. That is a talented artist. But like I said, not my cup of tea, you know, I don't drink tea anyway. I'm more of a, of a juice person, and that is not juice right there. That is uh, Earl tea or, or uh, the jeering tea or something foreign to understand what that is. Uh, but anyway, you cannot deny the beauty of it. Uh, half naked lady, so you're gonna appeal to men. And then some lady dipping her hand in water. I don't know. But uh, anyway, you need to come out here and look at this beautiful painting. This next one here is back to Calder. We go to the pig stand uh, mural, which I'm so happy Kimberly Brown did this because I remember seeing this pig stand when I came to Beaumont and apparently it was supposed to be preserved, but it was still knocked down and put a gas station in front of it uh, because it was supposed to be some kind of landmark. So I'm happy that they actually put that because it was supposed to be uh, a sign of a classic example of what used to be there. Uh, they said it was open in 1941. It had a saucer look, you know. So thank Kimberly Brown for uh, putting this together uh, for this art. So I had to show it off. 
yes so this is the end of the first video we're gonna have three others coming out and this is a recap of all of the murals that you just witnessed i hope that you go visit these artists take pictures tag them let them know how great their art is and not only that go ahead and like and subscribe and share this video to get other people to see it thank you